I mean, I was spitting up blood, and, and like I was trying to bleed, breathe, and blood was coming out of my mouth, and I knew I was in bad shape. I mean, I thought I was gonna die pretty much, you know. I, that's when my friend Scott came up, he grabbed me, and he started applying pressure to the wound. I remember him screaming and yelling like, you know, he, he, he was calling an ambulance and, you know, I thought, I thought I was gonna die. You know, I told him, hey, Scotty, you know, started having some last minute words, you know, and telling my kids I love them and daddy loved, you know, and he's like, you're not gonna die. And I, I told him, yeah, I think I'm gonna die here, bro. Like, I thought I was done for sure. Actually in the checkout, we were just checking out, getting ready to pay. All our items had been scanned already, and you know we were just paying for the food, and and um, that's when I heard the screaming. So I seen there was something going on in the aisle. You know there was a victim, or something, and everybody saying don't let them leave, and so I knew something had bad had happened, and that's when. Um, so I, 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 I chased outside, I went outside after him. And I came up to him and I told him, hey man, you're not going nowhere, like, you're gonna stick around and, and, and hang out until the cops come, we're gonna figure out what happened. Like, and he came, kinda came at me, so I, so I was ready to fight him. I took off my shirt and I, I punched him in the face for one time and, you know, I told him, put down, he was acting like he wanted to fight. So I told him, okay, I'll put down the knife and, you know, and at the same time, I know I'm distracting him, so hopefully the victim can get away. I didn't know the extent of her, her, you know, or the store has time to clear out. I'm thinking, okay, this is a good thing, like, as long as I can keep him here. So I think he got kind of tired of getting hit in the face and he gave up. And he turned and he ran back in the store and he went back to the aisle. And that's when I seen a lot of blood. You know, I seen the, the victim, like, I, I seen a lot of blood going on. I knew this is, this is bad, this is real bad, like, you know, she didn't even, she couldn't even get out of the aisle while we were, I'm sure she would have got up and got out of the aisle if, while she had the chance. So I was just trying to do whatever I could to kind of keep him away from her, like from hurting her even more. I had to kind of put myself out there and go in this more of a confined space in this little aisle with this guy now to where I know there's not too much running room or, you know, I looked around quickly, briefly, you know, First I was, okay, look for a big bottle or something that I can crack them with or, and you know, unfortunately the liquor aisle's about five miles down. So, I mean, I picked up, it was a, you know, a little decent sized bottle, but I, unfortunately it was a plastic bottle. I mean, it had a little bit of weight to it, you know, so I, I went into the aisle armed with my plastic bottle and I mean, I hit him right in the face with it. I mean, pretty, you know, I kind of did like a, a, a a, throw, a baseball throw right to him and right to his face and it kind of sent him back into the aisle he, you know he crashed up against one side of the aisle real quick and then he just came with a full rush kind of like a, a charged rush and I tried to take a step back to to kind of get take a step back I mean he's got the knife in the kind of a stabbing position like this now and I slipped in the blood and when I fell down to catch myself he was a he came lunging down on me and I mean, he, you know, he had some weight to him and stuff. So the knife went right into my chest and that's when he got me, you know, the doctor said it was like a quarter inch from my heart. I stood up, yeah, he got off me. I, I got him kind of kicked back. I don't know if he fell down. I think he, what happened was he ended up slipping and falling and that's when I was able to get up real quick and stand up and I was already kind of feeling dizzy. I was, uh, yeah, I was, spitting blood out i mean blood's gushing now still have the the wound back which is hooked up over here which is another tube that's coming straight from the wound this one comes straight from the wound and kind of uh it's it's just a just a vacuum that's hooked up directly to and you can see air fluid still coming out of it but it's not it's not near as bad as and under here was the other wound that, I mean, they had to make a large incision to put a tube in there. And, and, and 
to kind of plug it to the lung and then stitch this up so that this tube doesn't fall out, seal the hole so that air stops getting in. And, um, and then, yeah, that's what the, the chest back is for, to stop the air from, I mean, that's how the lung, you know, the lung collapsed, dude. So, yeah, you know, it's, 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 sometimes you gotta, I mean, I, if it was my daughter or, or somebody, you know, that's helpless, I mean, that, that's how I looked at it, man. This girl's helpless compared to him. You know, and it's, I mean, I would hope somebody would do the same for her if I wasn't there to protect her. If it was my daughter, I'd do the same thing for something, you know. So I just do for others as I would want done for me, I guess.